Scorpio, the Scorpion. Middle sign of the water triplicity. October 23rd to November 22nd. This sign governs the genital organs, the groin, and bladder of the grand man, or macrocosm. It is a fixed, nocturnal, southern, mute sign of the zodiac. The higher attributes are attachment, tenacity, and silence. The sun enters the sign on or about the 23rd of October, and departs from the sign on or about the 22nd of November. The sun on entering the sign should be given six days before coming into full touch and action with the influence of the sign. A person born between the dates of the 23rd and the 29th of October would not receive the full central results of the sign's individuality, as he would be born when the sun was on the edge of the sign. This is known as the cusp, and its nature and impulses partake of the sign the sun has just passed through and out from, and the native will also partake of the attributes of the sign of the zodiac the moon is located in at the time of birth. These people are allied to the great powers of the ocean of this planet, and are possessed of a wonderful vibratory force, which gives them a great vitality through electromagnetic influences. So marked is this power that they are able to benefit all who are closely connected with them. Their personal presence is healing. They possess indomitable will and self-control, and remarkable skill in the use of their hands. Their touch is so firm and delicate, their observation so keen, their poise so perfect, that they make the best surgeons in the world. They are not moved by the complaints or fears of their patients, and preserve the coolness of their native element under all circumstances. Such persons are often considered unfeeling and unsympathetic, and this is sometimes true, though more frequently is an appearance caused by a resolute and unflinching determination to succeed. Before an operation some of these surgeons are regarded by their patients as demons. Afterwards they are always gods. The genius of eloquence is sometimes a direct inheritance of those born under this sign. They are powerful and magnetic public speakers, and when the spiritual nature is aroused, they make the most popular and convincing clergymen. They have great tact and taste in the choice of language, and are usually very well aware of their influence over those with whom they come in contact. Those who write, excel in the construction of short stories. One strong characteristic of these people is a silent, dignified superiority of appearance. This is a very important factor in their success. They are usually courteous and affable when not engaged in serious business, then they can be blunt to cruelty. They are fond of the good things of the earth, and have a fine taste in dress, but are not so devoted to style and show as their cancer neighbors. They are especially fond of outdoor sports, and are natural lovers of ocean travel and ocean views. When these people are awakened and spiritualized, they are the salt of the earth, helpful, powerful, tender, and devoted to humanity. The reverse of this is also true. They usually have so much business of their own to carry to success that they are not curious concerning the affairs of their neighbors. They have large self-esteem and approbativeness to match. Flattery is the most powerful weapon that can be used with the average Scorpio person. Personal Appearance Those born under this sign are usually robust and inclined to corpulency in middle life. They have dusky complexions, broad, square faces, and darker hair. Companions The best companionships exist with those born under Pisces, the negative pole of the water triplicity. Staunch friends are to be found in Libra and in Virgo. Faults Three great evils are apt to dominate Scorpio people when on the animal plane. These are anger, jealousy, and passion, and if permitted to hold sway, will destroy their integrity and ruin their lives. This sign is the natural propagative center, and the unawakened Scorpio person is sometimes a monster of lust. The intense love of praise and flattery is another great weakness. The husband who does not coax and praise his Scorpio wife has not infrequently a very hard time of it. The education of the male has been different, therefore they are not always so exacting in small things, but when their suspicion and jealousy are fully aroused, they want to kill, and sometimes do. The habit of procrastination and indolence are very marked, and if not broken become veritable diseases. 
Those who have not learned the higher law of love are often very unsatisfactory and eccentric in their dealings with their friends. To the underdeveloped Scorpio, a friend is a splendid fellow as long as he can be used, but when he no longer contributes to their happiness and well-being, he will be tossed aside with no more compunction than one would throw away a squeezed lemon. Later, if they feel that the assistance of the enemy is necessary, the bridge will be rebuilt and used to the utmost. Scorpio people have infinite tact in such matters, and their wonderful magnetic power enables them to destroy and restore these friendships with ease and grace. When Scorpio people live on the higher plane, they are very superior individuals, when they do not, they are apt to be tricky, subtle, and very cunning. They have a way of finding out secrets, and especially those which pertain to business and social successes. Information thus gained is always utilized to the best advantage, and if it decreases the income or the power of the friend, it is regarded as a good joke by the one who has used the information thus fraudulently obtained. These unawakened Scorpio people will stop at nothing to attain their ends on account of their determination and persistence. Whether working for good or evil results, they are indefatigable in their efforts to accomplish their purposes. The women in this sign who have not learned to control themselves are apt to be great scolds and the worst naggers in the world. Their children are usually the especial victims. Such women are so jealous and auspicious of their husbands, and so fearful that other women will have some power over them, that they are constantly on the watch for an appearance of infidelity. A smile or a look is sometimes sufficient to cause a serious domestic storm. When this suspicion keeps up, Separations and divorces are sure to follow. These people will lie just to make mischief. The undeveloped Scorpio man is very hard to live with peaceably. He will also nag and pick things and motives to pieces and throw the whole family into a state of nervousness and fear. Diseases The diseases which are apt to attack these people are those of the heart, weakness of the back, lower back pain, and gout. All these ailments and every other known to man can be entirely dominated, forever cast out, by those who realize that mind is master and the body is the servant of the mind. Mode of Growth Scorpio people should remember that one true friend is preferable to a hundred flatters, and that true friends are very rare, for the reason that true men and women are not common. They should begin at once to take account of their tendencies and their weaknesses. They should set apart a few moments each day for searching, analytical mental contemplation, and not spare themselves. They should resolve with all the splendid willpower and determination which belongs to this sign, to overcome every obstacle to true spiritual progress. These people can be anything they choose to be, and while their faults are difficult to overcome, they are so superiorly endowed with resolution that they can succeed if they will. If they could but catch a glimpse of their possibilities of the work they could do in the world, of their magnetic, curative, and inspirational power they possess, they would never lag in the work of redemption. They must overcome suspicion and jealousy, and this can be only accomplished by the realization of the existence of these damaging and despoiling qualities. They must acknowledge that they are prone to excuse themselves, and, worse than this, to flatten themselves. Some of the Scorpio people who read this will immediately protest, no such faults are mine, they will say, and perhaps in their indignation will close the book and vow never to have anything more to do with it. Such an exhibition of temper will prove that they are well hit, because those born under this sign who have given no attention to spiritual development are always very tender of their own feelings and equally careless of the suffering of others. This may be true of other signs, for Scorpio people are not the only ones who wish to deceive themselves. The women who indulge in scolding and nagging will do well to notice the effect of such conduct upon those about them. They will see that it drives away from them those they love the most and that they are most anxious. It will not take long for them to discover that their children and all under their authority are deceiving and evading their commands. Servants to such mistresses, unless very conscientious, invariably do things their own way and become very tactful and cunning. When Scorpio people step to the moral plane where they will acknowledge their faults, the battle is half won, but as long as they are determined to deceive themselves, they are in utter darkness. 
Marriage. When Scorpio and Virgo people are united, the children will be physically strong and brilliant. And when the contracting parties have learned the happiness and power obtained from overcoming, a wonderful harmony will result. The children of Libra and Scorpio, or Scorpio and Pisces, are not apt to be robust, and the marriage relation is usually a marriage in name only. The reader must remember that usually the happiest results arise in marriage where social and intellectual equality exist. Government of Children The little folks born under Scorpio are usually very domineering and evince this tendency even in babyhood. They are the fretting those who demand instant attention and who expect to be constantly amused. The Scorpio child who has not learned something of self-control and who has not been instructed concerning the danger of giving way to jealousy and suspicion before he or she has come the age of 10 years, will not be easily reached during the next 10. Moral and spiritual development will then be an individual matter entirely, and it will come from the working out of a natural law, the hardest and the only one. As a man soweth, that shall he also reap. These children are generally so bright, so apt, so quick to separate the good from the bad, the true from the false, when properly trained and directed, that they can be saved a great deal of after misery and shame by wise instruction in the very early years. This is of course true in the largest sense of all children, but these Scorpio little folks will, by their natural tendency, dominate everything and everybody about them unless this characteristic is corrected as soon as the trait manifests itself. Scorpio babies should be taught to entertain themselves and should be kept very quiet. The largest and highest possible range of education should be given those born under this sign. These children are usually very fond of animals, but sometimes become extremely cruel when their commands are not obeyed. They should be led into a close intimacy with these creatures as soon as they are old enough to notice, by means of pictures and a personal acquaintance. Scorpio children are very fond of luxurious surroundings. They should be taught simplicity in all things and carefully watched as to emotions and passionate habits. This field is worthy of most patient and persistent working. The governing planet is Mars, and the gems are topaz and malachite. The astral colors are golden brown and black.